In this demonstration, I'll show you how to use the flank milling feature for the design of a flank milled centrifugal compressor in Blade Gen. Flank milled blades represent a special case of blade geometry definition where the blade pressure and suction surfaces are described by only two layers, typically one at the hub and one at the shroud. When I turn on the flank milling option in Blade Gen, the number of adjustable layers automatically becomes two one for the hub and one for the shroud. Activating this option restricts the available geometry modifications such that the blade geometry can be properly flank milled after the design process. The flank milling feature gives the blade a ruled shape that corresponds to the toolpath. Notice that the trailing edge has a cutoff in this case. Note that only the leading or trailing edge may be cut off. At the cutoff edge, I can extend the hub or shroud layers using the flank milled blade extension option. This can be used to adjust the distribution of the ruling lines and thus the blade surface shape. Let's take a look at the output options. For flank milled designs, a new continuous output option is automatically selected. The continuous option ensures that the normalized arc lengths between points outlining the hub and shroud are equivalent. This facilitates the manufacturing of a smooth blade surface at the cam stage. The number of points exported per layer and the resolution at the rounded blade edge may be changed. I can export the blade profile point data to a set of curve files which can be used by cam software to produce the designed blade. Flank milled blades can be imported into Blade Editor for 3D model creation and meshing allowing for structural analysis in ANSYS Mechanical. Likewise, flank milled blades can be imported into TurboGrid for meshing, allowing for CFD analysis in ANSYS CFX. In TurboGrid, I can view the ruling lines and the cutoff edge. This concludes this demonstration overviewing the flank milling feature in BladeGen.